You're watching Crusader Combo. We're engaging in crucial career conversations. I'm your host, Dr. Threes, Principal of CTEC. Crusader Combo, where we're engaging in crucial career conversations with CTEC Crusaders. I'm your host, Dr. Threes, Principal of CTEC. Last Wednesday, we had the opportunity to celebrate our administrative professionals, Mrs. Gaucher, Mrs. Graham, Mrs. Knight and Simon, Mrs. Mack, Mrs. Walker, and Ms. Donald. And this week is May already. I can't believe it. It seems like it was just August 10th and we were welcoming all of our Crusaders back. Now, we only have 16 days to finish strong. I also want to take a moment to thank my CTEC family, all the staff and students for the outpouring of love showed to me for Principal Appreciation Day that they extended to the entire week. I was so grateful and I'm so grateful to lead them here at CTEC. Joining me today are our health science students and their teacher and HOSA advisor. They're going to share with us a little bit about what HOSA is and what they've been doing this year. So I'm wearing my white, trying to be like, you know, healthcare professional blending in with like the white coats. But first, Ms. Kirkwood, I want you to tell us all about this grant that you won. Yes, I won the Texas Retired Teachers Foundation Classroom Assistance Grant. And it's a grant where my students are going to be able to explore the microbiome microbio, uh, realm around the career center. They'll be able to swab different surfaces and observe microbial life. Oh, wow, wow. So who do you have here with you today? I have Luther Jones. Valeria Velasquez and Victoria Jones. All right. They're three of my junior health science students and they're also in HOSA. Okay, okay. So let's get started first. You all just um, tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, your classification, your home campus, and a fun fact or something we'll just people will find surprising about you. Uh, I'm from Westbrook Senior High School, junior. Uh, a fun fact about me, I crochet. Oh, okay. So, and the third question. That's all, you know, something surprising people will find surprising. Uh, so what's the last thing you crocheted? Last thing I crocheted, I started on a sweatshirt. Oh, wow, wow. You got to bring something up here so we can see it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm Valeria. I'm a junior from Beaumont United High School, and one fun fact about me is that I play the flute and piccolo. Okay, okay. So where are you? Um, I'm Victoria. I'm a junior at Westbrook High School. A fun fact about me is that I can play the bass guitar and that I can bake. Oh, what you bake lately? Um, I bake with my grandmother, so we bake cookies. She's taught me how to make bread from scratch. Oh, interesting. I um, love bread. I've made, I've made cinnamon rolls. I've made whole cake bread. Okay. So, yeah, you know, anytime well, you have any I haven't extras. baked with her in the minute. I oh, need okay. to. I thought we haven't been able to bake for a little bit, but I'm going to go over there soon. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we can do your taste test. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Proud new recipes. Some cake right in the end of the year party. Okay. <laughs> Duly noted. Okay. All right, Ms. Kirkwood, what about you? What's a fun fact or something people would be surprised to know about you? Um, I'm actually six feet tall. <laughs> Incorrect. In her head, so that's you. It's okay. You identify as a six I feet tall. I identify as a six feet tall <laughs> pro volleyball player. We're actually okay. the same height. <laughs> so, HOSA. So, I know my daughter was in HOSA. And I think it was at that time, it was um, Health Occupation Students of America, but it's changed, right? The yes, name has yes, changed. Yes. What, so what is it now? It's now Future, Future Health, Health Professionals. Professionals. Future Health Professionals. Okay, okay. So do y'all have officers or? Yes. Yes, we do have officers. Uh, for our president-elect, we have Luther Jones. Oh, congratulations. Yes, so he'll take over the reins next year leading us. Okay. Tori, you want to tell what you do? Um, I'm the treasurer-elect currently. Okay. And Valeria? Uh, just a regular. Um, He's a representative. Member. Representative. Yes. Okay. All right. Y'all have any other officers? Yes, our senior yes. officers, they'll come to the Career Center in the afternoon. We have Melanie Escoto. She's going to be our, she's our uh, president. Joshua Mendoza is our vice president. And we have a couple of students who take on the roles of secretary, treasurer, and uh, representative. Okay. So about how many members are in the organization? Uh, this year we have about 50 plus members oh, in the organization. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. Okay. So tell us about all that y'all have been doing this year. Y'all have been very busy. Um, um, for the recently, um, for the month of April, we've been really focusing on raising awareness for environmental health. Okay. So currently we are collecting plastic bottles. Um, we've collected almost a thousand already. It, it, we are ending this week. Yeah, this week. This week. We're gonna uh, donate them to Lamar Green Squad. They have a donation station for uh, recyclables at the Montaigne Center. Oh, okay. okay. And we, oh, we did the Earth Week dress-up days. We had an Earth Week advocacy thing for HOSA 
one on Monday we dressed in green, we dressed in blue on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday was animal print or camo print. Thursday was neon colors. We just done different little things um, to show awareness for health because the environment has a lot to do with health as a whole as well, with global warming and environmental. Oh, that's interesting. I never really connected the two. So what about, I think you all had a week? Or? Yeah, no, we had a, a host a week. Uh -huh. So for Monday, we advocated for we blackout day. And so we, we know your numbers, like your blood pressure, your mm -hmm. vital signs, know the importance of knowing those for your health and safety. And then for Tuesday, we have fake an injury day. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I faked a, a knee, knee injury. A pretty wicked <laughs> split on your finger. Yeah, oh yeah, you did. Well, but that was real, pants. right? That was, that was Dion's. Dion's. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday was future so bright to wear sunglasses in our professional uh, uniform still, since we still had to go to the hospital. Okay. Thursday was body systems day, where each of us, each student wore a different color, and then we took a group picture. So it'd be like, oh, the body system was together. What mm -hmm. color did you wear? I wore, I think I wore red. And red represented which system? Cardiovascular. Cardiovascular system. Okay. And then Friday was Youth Career Expo, which Miss Kirkwood is representing right now. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. shirts. Going, expanding on future uh, healthcare careers. Healthcare careers. Okay. Okay. So you said something about um, the hospital observations. Do y'all want to talk more about that? About you all's visits to the hospital this semester? Do you want to? I guess we can all tell about where we so went. So my students, they're, they do a pre-practicum experience during the spring semester, and they go to the hospital, and they observe different uh, nurses, physicians, patient care technicians, CNAs, or respiratory therapists in their roles and responsibilities at the hospital. And so um, which areas did you all like there? Um, I think one of my favorite areas, I was in a lot of med surge floors, but mm -hmm. I think one of them, the most hands-on I had was on fourth floor med surge, mm -hmm. and I was another interesting one was the ICU. The okay. ICU was pretty interesting too. Which one was your favorite? Um, the, my, my favorite was the emergency room because we really got to learn a lot. Um, the nurse really taught us stuff that we would be able to use in healthcare and in real life situations. Okay. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure in the ER it was a diversity of things that you got to see down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. yeah, same thing with you, but my was Oh yeah, he was, we had partners. <laughs> yeah, Luther was my partner. Yeah, in med surge it was different floors. You had the fourth floor, fifth floor, and sixth floor. Sixth floor I think was... That was our first week. Sixth floor was people with... Kind of like orthopedics out of yeah. surgery. Yeah. Fourth oh, floor was good. like oncolo oncology. That's cancer. And cancer patients. And fifth floor were more, I guess. Maybe those with extended illnesses or yes. something like that. Yes. Okay. More chronic. More disease related. Yeah, more yeah. chronic. Look at that. Chronic. Okay, okay. All righty. So, what else has HOSA been doing this year? Oh, well, definitely we did a uh, hosp not hospital, uh, university visits. Yes. The students went to uh, Lamar University's nursing school where they spoke with students as well as faculty and staff about. Um, the coursework they uh, have there, the admissions requirements, and they really enjoyed it. We also had a tour over there. Uh, we also brought students to Prairie View, um, where they were introduced to the UMA. And Victoria, you want to tell them about the UMA? So the UMA stands for Undergraduate Medical okay, Academy. academy. Mm -hmm. And basically, the, it's an academy. It prepares students who are interested into going into careers in the med care field. And it's, is it in the summer? Is it a summer program? Yeah, they, they do have a summer, summer program. Yeah. Yes. Um, a few of us are planning on, are looking into it and planning on going to further our careers and get you ready, whether you're a high school student, and I think for lower undergraduate mm -hmm. program for the students. Yeah, it's a really great program. My daughter is a junior in that program. She was actually um, a Jasper Scholar, which means that she's been in it since her freshman year. Mm -hmm. And so they have that summer bridge program where you can get some things accomplished during the summer, but they connect with you throughout your collegiate experience yeah. and they connect you with other healthcare professionals, um, get you internships and just really expose you to all the different opportunities in the healthcare as far as healthcare professions and um, study skills. That's a really big thing and um, good support for them and the alumni coming back um, because I had the opportunity to go with you all and I thought it was just great just hearing the stories of the alumni and sharing those experiences with you all and some of them you know they were real you know it wasn't mm -hmm. all peaches and cream and you know they shared you know the ups and the downs but how they had the support to bring them through and how sometimes they did fail you know certain but they failed forward and they were able to continue on 
and still um, reach their desired aspirations. Okay, great. So, anything else y'all want to share? Uh, yes, Hosa? for Hosa, so we had a few main events in February and March, and first of all, it was American Heart Month, and we had the blood drive too, so we raised awareness about heart health, and then we also made Valentine's Day cards for the nursing facility. Um, we tried to deliver them to all the seniors who lived there. Mm -hmm. Um, we also had Cancer Awareness Month, so we wore different colors and to raise awareness for different types of cancer, such as melanoma, leukemia, um, yeah. And then we also had a smile drive, which which was a hygiene drive. So we so we um, gathered up a bunch of items for like hygiene, such as like toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, and then we donated those. And then we also did the Read Across America where we gathered books and we went to interact and read to some of the elementary schoolers at Peach MacArthur where we also donated the Smile Drive items. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, actually, y'all have been so busy. So Very busy. busy. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. nice it's to great. slow down a little bit. That's good. So I know you all are just getting ready for next year now. So yes. yes. Year. yes. yes. Um, trying to establish our program of work for next year. We just started with the month of August where we're focusing in recruiting new members and gathering fundraising activities. So we we're also yeah. to set try to figure out which tracks we're going to go. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, decisions, yeah. decisions. And so what you're meaning by that? So next year you'll have the opportunity to either continue as an EMT yes, student or a pharmacy tech student. Yes, so making those decisions to see how it's going to align with your post-secondary aspirations. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anything else y'all want to share with us, President Elect? President Elect. Oh. <laughs> uh, I feel like HOSA will be an amazing day for more people to join. Okay. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Speak to those can, incoming juniors. The more so. people we can invite, incoming the more juniors. people we can help, and more uh, volunteer hours. And we need hours. Volunteer, volunteer, we can help our community. Okay. Absolutely. Because um, incoming juniors, if you are going to be in our health science program, please join HOSA. We could always use more members. The numbers could always go up. If you need community service hours, a look to see what it might be like in the healthcare field. If you need more experiences to help you decide what you would like to do in life, please join. We're always looking for new members. So tell them uh, what they would have to do once they um, become a junior here. What are the requirements to join HOSA? Okay. okay. Well, one, you have to be a part of the health science program, a program of study as a junior in Hull. And you'd have to there's not many requirements. You'd have to fill out an application, sign the um, permission slip form from your parents. You'd have to sign um, a few medical release forms and everything, and you'd have to pay your dues of twenty-five dollars a month. But if that's twenty-five dollars a month? Not sorry, twenty-five dollars oh. for the year. I'm for sorry. the year, okay. I'm sorry, okay. not a month. I'm sorry. And what about meetings? How often do you all meet? Is it just it's while you're here at CTEC? Once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Okay, just at CTEC, so you all gather everyone. Since most of us are in the class yeah. together. Okay. Most of us yeah, because we have those students that come from BU and Westbrook. Mm -hmm. We do yes. once a month during class. During class. Okay, so that should be very convenient. Low dues and not yeah. that much And that's paperwork. how we bridge HOSA with our health science curriculum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, have, we include that in our curriculum, and it just aligns with our objectives and goals. Most mm -hmm. students in the health science program are part of HOSA. It just makes sense, honestly. If you're looking for a club to join, but you don't know which clubs to join, mm. if you're in it, might as well join it. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you all joining us today to share with everyone about what HOSA is and what you all have been doing. And we encourage the incoming juniors to consider HOSA to add to your resume and just to your experience as a student here at CTEC. All righty. So next week, do you all know what next week is? AP testing? Well, it is. Oh. It is. It definitely is. Teacher it's Appreciation Week. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, I didn't tell my dad. I'm yes, sorry. yes. Teacher Appreciation Week. So we get to celebrate our amazing, talented, yes, thoughtful, dedicated good. teachers. And I just want to give them all hey, a shout out right now. Random teachers. <laughs> we have Miss Barker, Miss Boyette, Mister. I'm sorry, Miss Barker, Miss Boyette. Mr. Burnett, Mr. Clary, Mr. Cormier, Chef Evans, Mr. Harrell, Ms. Hoppy, Ms. Houston, Mr. Jenkins, Ms. Kelly, Ms. Kirkwood, Ms. Meadows, Mr. Polador, Mr. Rice, Ms. Richmond, Ms. Ritter, Mr. Stevenson, and our substitute teachers who are filling in, standing in, holding down for us, Mr. Broussard, Ms. Funtno, and Mr. Sutton. 
And Wednesday, y'all know what Wednesday is next week? Wednesday is Nurse Appreciation oh, Week. Oh, so our very yes. own Nurse Sonya, we get to extend appreciation to her. So don't forget, mark your calendars, mm -hmm. set an alarm to make sure you do something special for your teachers as well as Nurse Sonya. And as we end this podcast, I want to dedicate it to our very own auto collision and repair teacher, Mr. Eric Gaucher, who transitioned from labor to reward on Monday, April 22nd. Mr. Gaucher would be the first person I would speak to when I was coming in because he was here like 30 minutes before yeah. all the teachers just in his office, just getting prepared for the day. And he affectionately referred to most of his students and his male colleagues as coach. And me too. Mm -hmm. coach. You too? Oh, you got to be called coach, coach too. too. And he just loves sharing his craft with his students and just encouraging them to reach their full potential. He is already missed here at CTEC, yes. so we just ask for your thoughts and prayers, especially for his wife, who is actually my secretary. So just keep us in your thoughts and prayers as we continue on remembering Mr. Gaucher. Thank you all so much for engaging in crucial career conversations with Crusader Convo.